blast. Got through the draft, got into game. It's all unpaused. And Dream League Season 23, the closed qualifiers for Western Europe can continue. Nice little splash screen and a roar to get us into the game. Boom. Oh, is that where the roar... The roar comes from the assets. It's a stream asset, not an in-game thing. <laughs> It's so the weird. Stinger video when the Dream League icon comes up and it goes Rawr. It's like the um, M is it MGM Metro Golden Mayor, the lion in the in the thing. I didn't even know that those that stood for something. Yeah, roaring away. Alrighty, uh, everything as expected. It looks like with the laning setups here. As nine classes down here, he's he's always doing this. He's always running around. Seeing what's up when he starts the game. Kind of wants to run into some smokes. The enemy team is going to run right past him, though. He's just hungry for information. Oh, is he doing the is sentry he... thing? It looks like it, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, you guys... You, I mean, I'm sure most of you know this. The creeps walk by. They see the sentry. They stop to attack it. It's a very annoying way to delay the wave. So, hoping that your wave will push in under the tower. So this means that they have a lane they don't want to play honorably, right? <laughs> yeah, yes. That is what it means. That's such a mean way of putting it. But <laughs> oh, so you're cowards and don't want to actually play the game. But, yeah. Oh, okay. But, yeah, that is exactly it. I mean, it just ties into what I said earlier about Luna Undying. I, I, if I had to make a list of like lane pairings, this would be in top five, I think. I guess, un un I guess Undying plus one is probably just <laughs> my top five anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of the whole point of this hero is that uh, ruining the lane. So you add in Lucent Beams and the Lunar Blessing and it gets really nasty. But yeah, yeah, Nine Class is going to try and mess up lane equilibrium. So that gets pushed back to the Dire Tier 1. So that makes it safer for Toby's Brewmaster to farm. That's the whole idea is they're going to be manipulating waves and yeah, playing dishonorably because that straight 2v2 is unplayable. So they want to try and actually play some Dota 2. But uh, other, other lanes going on. White Mon and Katomi going for some camp blocking up north. And in that mid lane, Timber against Kunkka. Topson, the guy that I think... Well, I, I said I think he has to make a lot of moves and be that catalyst, the playmaker for Tundra. He's going to get bullied by no one's Timber here. This is not fun. Yeah, this is no one's game to win, I think. I, I, like, if you just kind of stomp this game and you, you play at your peak, I think no one can win this game individually. Because it's that good of a timber game. Like, what is really going to mess him up? Is Anything? I, I see nothing. Like, he just kind of has freedom throughout this game. It's a crazy timber pick. It's been a long time since I've cast no one. So hearing sentences like, this is no one's game to win. And I'm like, Trent, what are you saying? <laughs> Ready. Just a couple of little pauses. TB down bot, tanking. A bit of that Watson damage. The Fishman. Yeah, they've got the, the wave back in towards their tier one. Nine class. Not going to be able to drag any of those creeps. Was attempting like a range creep drag into large camp. While up at top, white man getting bubbled by Katsomi. Pure taking pretty heavy hitting here from DM. Fishman, he went a little deep on the harass. Oh, he did, and he dies? First was, blood for the TB brew lane. It was very bold. He was, like, directly in behind Toby, standing between Toby and Toby's tier one, and just constantly punching and decaying and punching and decaying, thinking that he might win it out in the end, but a well-timed go in there from nine class at the same time. But, I mean, it's undying, so he's going to do this immediately again. And this can't be okay, but when you gave up the life for first blood, it really takes away a lot of the value. Because, like, there's there's some aspect of, like, oh, I died and I'm dying, it's fine. I come back, I spam again, my Luna's happy. Giving it away for first blood's pretty bad. And and courier as well. True. Yeah. So as Watson's courier died, first blood, nine class got a ton of money from that. They're looking at, like, 400 gold, so that's, I assume, going to be boots coming Ooh. out. That's going to awesome. allow this TB to do a lot. Tops in the mid lane, trying to fight into no one. Both very low in the attempted torrent. Guess there from Topson, not paying off, sadly, for him. And no one with level 1 re reactive armor. Spams his bottle, already back to half HP, and Topson with no regen remaining. Yeah, Topson, no bottle or anything. No bottle, no magic stick. He's got a stick coming on Courier. But just this double bracer Quelling Blade build for the Kunker, trying to tank up, I guess. Yeah. 
see if he can make something happen out of this lane. Back down bottom though. Things have kind of relaxed for, for old Toby in 9 class. They're just fine. He keeps getting that pull off up top. Pure in a bit of trouble, but it is a Morphling. Ooh, but if you lose your Courier, nice stun. <laughs> uh, Katomi has also been getting some stacks there as uh, at the 50, you know, around like 56, 57 seconds. You can run down, throw that Shadow Poison on the camp. Easy stack. So I'm sure we'll see him do that again. And that's just going to help accelerate the Timber Saw, I presume. That's who I'd be wanting to give them to. I'd be stacking up like crazy for this Timber Saw. Because you just know he's going to run this game if he gets some gold. He's yeah. going to get double stack this time. Get the Ancients as well. Yeah, don't necessarily need to give it all to the Luna. And there's also the fact that Luna needs a little more time to go and start clearing Ancients. Whereas Timber Saw can literally just hit level 6 and go there. Clear these big old stacks. Kato Omi... Kind of lurking in this mid lane. I'm going to sentry up the large camp to make sure that Topson's recovery route is reduced as much as possible. Down at bottom, Fishman with a tombstone moves in towards nine class. That terror blade runs it back. Toby looks okay as well. And some stick charges left in the tank as well, if need be. Yeah, entity, this this lane, that first blood on Fishman, it, it really does matter quite a lot. Oh, mid lane, banishment onto the Kunker. Timber Saw and Shadow Demon diving onto Topson. I should be able to chase this one down with a timber chain, but there's no Chakram yet. Level 5 still on no one. Can't keep going on Thompson, and White Mon's making life a little challenging for this timber saw. Battery assault, very annoying. But that's going to be that. Also, just the level 1 timber chain. Just a little, you know. It's a little tap, really. Ooh, misses the stack, unfortunately. This time they've got on me, so a little bit less gold stacked up for the timber. That was always the sad thing about mid-timber, right? The lack of trees. Leveling timber chains, like, I need it, but there's nowhere for me to swing to. Oh god, that damage down the bottom onto Watson. Nine class and Toby, they really they're doing well to find these opportunities where, you know, Fishman is off to the side or he's too low on regen. Play straight into the Luna, get her low. And then you get the pull-off behind it as well. I mean, they've had that camp the entire time as well. Like, they have completely won this lane with the control over... I, I think you could go back and watch this replay of nothing but the bottom lane. And between the first blood and keeping this camp open, the initial play of the sentry at the tower, and then the body blocks, like... They have created a lane out of what should have been a very difficult situation for them. Uh, and yeah, even with is... all that battling, you're still behind on CS, of course, because... <laughs> it's Luna and Undying. Yeah. But you're existing, is... which is great. That, that, that's it, right? You're, you're existing, you're not feeding, you've got to kill Brute. Like, Brewmaster has the same amount of net worth as DK, and that, that's a win already. A mid lane, though, no one. He's cracked level 6, he's got the damage and the slow to finish off. Topson finally gets it done. And Katsuomi's a little bit of help there. Force White Mon away. It's just, it's not comfortable for Watson down bottom anymore. Needs a bit more money for that Morbid Mask, but currently not able to sustain against this reflection spam out of nine class but it was nerfed <laughs> well what what were the nerfs i know the radius got decreased it, it was the radius as well as the damage um but you know it is a luna so this is like one of the best heroes that you can get it against so kind of makes sense that she's not going to feel uh, as happy about the nerfs as maybe some other heroes mm. i think the radius the the general idea there is that it's less likely you get on both heroes yeah, or in a big team. Oh, Watson just being dived though. Look at this. Nine class comes in. Oh, no one arrives in the nick of time. Whirls down on the TB and this Timber Saw and a Shakram Toby. Level five Brewmaster. He's gonna get walked down here slowly oh, he but is. surely. Yeah, there's there's no chance. If Eventually, he lives, he's the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> he gets a courier snipe though. Come on, guys. Take that, I guess. Uh, that was great because no one knows that uh, he needs to help with these side lanes because it hasn't been going that great bottom. Because uh, he wants to just go farm those stacks right now and then be crazy strong. But he's waiting for the uh, the potential play there of just like, hey, if they dive a Luna, I want to be there, get a free kill. Now he can go back, like send out a Clarity or something, clear mid, go get Ancients. Or, you know, pressure this uh, Kunkka. That's also pretty good. Yeah, go kill Topson again. I've got a timber chain, a torrent. In comes nine class with a TB. A lot of damage on no one. Oh, Swoops. Tundra, bait him in and take him down. That was kind of crazy because he X'd him during the timber chain animation, so he didn't finish it out. And I think like that, that would have made it really close. 
So nice save there from Thompson. And then again, just Super the well similar idea of recognizing when those rotations are going to come through. Now, Nine Glass is going to find all these stacks, but pretty hard to contest these. Yeah, especially with Thompson sitting at like 300 HP. And maybe if he comes with Max Tidebringer, they could get, get it done. But you need a yeah, concerted effort with maybe a couple of supports in there as well. And no one says no contest. Takes the large camp stack on that left-hand side. Just a casual 300 gold sent right into you. And the ancients too. So that that is one of the challenging things on the topic of that Timbersaw and his rotations. You're having a free game. You had that lane matchup. And you're having to kind of save the side lanes. As we see Fishman drop the tombstone. Fight into Toby. There's no soul rip levels. So he cannot defend his tomb here. A free 150 gold for Toby. And now... With the X mark combo, Thompson's arrived to try and secure this kill on the Undying. Look, they're just filtering it. Uh, white ones come in to join the party. Yes! <laughs> Everybody get involved with a courier kill as well. Tier 1's going to get slowly whittled down here by Tundra. Uh, yeah, Tim, so I feel like Timber is one of these heroes where you're having a great time and it can be... Oh, I think it is the biggest challenge, uh, maybe in Dota in general, of knowing where you should be when you're so far ahead. Do I want to take stacks to get even further ahead and accelerate? Do I want to help other lanes so they can catch up, but I maybe lose out personally on my uh, on my progress? And then the enemy kind of reacting and rotating, right? Three heroes to deal with no one mid. Kind of slows down his advance as well. But he's still in a really good spot. Yeah, he's still well ahead of everyone else in this game. Uh, and considering the next highest person is his own Luna, he's got to be feeling pretty good about this. But these are the kind of plays you need from Tundra. Come in, find him Watson here. They have ah, the split, Thompson. too, so they can commit. Setting it all up onto Watson. Primal splits there. There's no saving your Luna. Good dive into this bottom jungle, but what comes next? Cyclone on the SD. Fishman getting pebbled and boulders tossed at him by Toby. An incredible first Primal split, honestly. One of the best I've seen in a long time. You've got a carry kill, a support kill. You contest the stacks in the jungle. You've shoved Entity out of this bottom part of the map. Spot on stuff from Tundra. Yeah, a lot of this is because they just didn't force that bottom tower as well. Like, instead of just taking the free tower that was there, they really kept pressuring trying to find this Luna. They want to try and ruin her game just a little bit more. And uh, I was just talking about how she was second on the net worth. Remember that? Two seconds ago? She's now fourth and got leapfrogged by three dire heroes. That's insane. Down you go. Down you go. Top lane. Something... I feel like we haven't looked at too much. It's been it's been quiet up here on the northern front, but a bit of noise has arrived. Chaos ensues. There's no one in DM. We're getting charged out here by nine class Toby and Whitemon's arrival. Trying to bring down this Timbersaur is a difficult task, but potentially able to do it with Pure still sticking around. Adaptive striking and finishing him off. A nice chunky bit of gold there for Pure's Morphling. What what tree did he just hit? Not entirely sure. I'm not sure if Waymo might have planted one, but it looked like... I, I think he might just hit a tree that was right next to the cogs, because he tried to get out, and he just did not move. <laughs> we need those replays. Yeah, Do you think Waymo had another branch? Waymo just had some branch. He's got one. He's got yeah, wand no, and a branch. I, I think he might be right. Waymo's just running around with ironwood branches to try and block timber chains. Anyway, Katomi spotted. Tundra with these... Very decisive, swift moves. Bouncing from bot jungle up to top. Getting big kills. Pressuring towers. The tempo very firmly being decided by Tundra here. Even though Entity have had good, a good laning stage. Seem to have a, a solid draft to hold on to stuff. It's just a, a zerg swarm of aggression from Tundra. They're getting a lot out of nine classes terribly too. Like the way that he's kind of leading these charges. And he scouts a little bit. Like just sends in these little conjure images. The reflections in the team fights. And again, aggression. They're just going to catch Fishman here under this ward. Yeah, wherever you step as Entity, you're being found by, I mean, I mean three heroes there. You just you don't expect three heroes to be in your bottom jungle constantly. It's like constantly. And this plays into so many of the things they have on their team too. Like Toby just being able to like play super forward while holding the primal split. He also has a, a spirit vessel. So these early kills starting to stack up here makes it really worry somebody into the mid game fights. Being a, a spirit vessel versus the timber saw who's not going to have a dispel for a while. And even though you only go one point in the reactive armor, it's still going to help a lot versus this hero. I also like the move that Pure made there as well. Understanding that top's not really safe anymore. He comes bot where DK was to stop the push on his bot tier 1, gets the enemy tier 1, 
and now because of his team's you know advanced forward position has the entire southern jungle to farm on this morphling whereas you look on that mini map right five heroes from entity they're all clumped up they're in their ancients area they're farming top okay i thought that was a real tb for a sec that's just that's an illusion nine class getting info the recon man sending illusions to scout out what a world we live in. Terrorblade illusions used as observer wards. Can start blocking out some camps, maybe. He can do it all. Support TV. Right, well, we'll see if they can keep up this aggression or if they have to maybe uh, slow it down a little bit here for the side of Tundra. Because it has been quite wild. They've kind of moved back to their own side of the map here. Let's see if they can get into those next items. Uh, Toby here, you can see, looking at the Radiance next. Makes sense. Pretty classic item for a Brewmaster these days. And having your, your earlier of the Spear Vessel to start with. Pure almost at the Manta. Not going to go for the full Vlads like we see a lot of Morphlings do early on. Just happy with the uh, the Mask for now. The needs of the Manta. I mean, ge genuinely, if... You know, I, I thought Entity 15 minutes in would be the ones with the 4K lead. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, th oh, I think yeah, Tundra have done very, very well... Like, 4k lead here is is bigger than it seems, in my mind. Yeah, I would agree. I thought this was going to be in a worse spot for sure. Uh, they have the Blink Dagger now in DM. They're about to reveal it. This is their Blink Smoke. Bunch of illusions. So, nothing helpful so, there. They did notice that. They're saying, hey, they're all smoked. That's so annoying, man. Just TB illusions seeing your five-man smoke come. Nine classes sat atop the high ground as well. So, illusion on one staircase. The hero alongside Kunkka on the other. They're yeah, Tundra. They're ready to fight. And they can let it rip. This as well. So like now he's just hitting neutrals. Oh, oh unlucky. So that blink reveal doesn't pay off any dividends. Yeah, they just sat back and farming. And now this is like the perfect opportunity. If if Tundra want to smoke, they're the ones that can go and make the move, right? But I don't think they're in any rush now they've got through that landing stage they're now in that waiting period of hey the next 10 minutes is lunar farming so pretty much any fight that comes to us is going to be we are five and the enemy is four or we can just leave pure to to match that farm rate and this morphling 8k he's a thousand ahead of the lunar currently and he's scaling pretty damn well manta's done Both teams are also on the earlier end for a potential Roche. So that's always something you keep in mind depending on how the uh, the map state's going. Once we approach like 20 minutes or so, not, not quite yet, but... You know, Morphling versus Luna. Anyone can, can get in there and uh, take it down pretty fast. Is there any other items that can change this up? I mean, no one's been working on this BKB for a long time. Mm. Which will make his fights a lot easier, but it comes down again to this idea of like taking the fights with the Luna. Because they're not far enough ahead like we were kind of expecting with the Saber pick where they could just be bullying around the map and forcing things themselves and being the real bosses where like I was envisioning like a Dragonite just blinks, stuns, and Timber just kills people. That's kind of how yeah. it felt like it was going to go. So that that's that's kind of what I was trying to touch on earlier with that, you know, Timber saw making decisions uh, yeah. monologue that I had, right? It's like, okay, you went bot and rotated and you saved the Luna. Okay, that was good for the Luna. But was it good for you and the game? I think you that one been... was fine. I think it was dying mid to three heroes 30 seconds later that might have hurt. Yeah. <laughs> I think then it's like the, the chain reaction, right? One step yeah. led to the other. You know, maybe he could have just cleared large camp and ancients and then you know, moved top or something. But in, in, it's all hindsight. The Radiant are scanning to find a Terrorblade taking their uh, farm in here. <laughs> it's got to be illegal. Brown Boots drums. TB has just a thousand too. health. It's just oh, so yeah. dumb. Blink, Blink Sunder. Sunder. <laughs> Blink for hero refract reflection, you know? Radiance oh, it's nasty. What are the... I mean, are there big auras to steal? Like Lun Lunar Blessing, obviously. I guess Lunar Blessing with your TB and Morphling is actually terrifying. Yeah, it's pretty insane. Man, he is coming close to do finishing this Conda as well. Do you also get the Night Vision stuff from Luna Blessing? Oh, like on the actual creeps? Uh, no, I... Uh, I don't think so. 
Because it's only for Luna, right? I think it's only the Luna heroes. Oh, I guess the Luna illusions that you would make would have it. Yeah, I guess so. Oh. Huh. More kind of hard to notice stuff. the middle of a fight, but probably? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure. No, I just never thought about that. I think of Luna Blessing usually just as plus damage, you know? <laughs> Night vision and all sorts of stuff. Right, this is the big one. BKB here for the Timber Sort. So no longer super worried about the Spirit Vessel. And look look at the rainbow TPs. Toby. Okay, do you think they can actually out. kill Toby here? I think it's a struggle. Because I, I think if he splits, Pr Primal split. Oh, oh. Just about. Oh, just about. I didn't know DK was blinking for the stun. Okay. <laughs> I did not see the DK there. I was looking at the heroes. I don't know. He must have just come to the gate and blinked or something, did he? I was like, look at the heroes that were there. And I was like, I don't think they get this kill. But then yeah, he got something DK tailed. is there was like, I have Dragon Tail. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. That you definitely get the kill with. So very well done. And into the Roche Pit they will go. Uh, and they need a second here. As they're having some communication issues. So Roshan, what is he currently? 5,000 HP. Tundra have a few heroes in the vicinity, but it doesn't look like Pure is even readying himself to TP up here. You, you could theoretically buy back Brew. He has ulti. TP top, get to the fight. It seems but you're, unnecessary. You're going in blind. Timber's it's scary. BKB. Yeah. I don't want to fight Timber BKB. I don't want to fight Undying at the pit. So you just let them have Aegis... And what's the plan? Tier 1 mid, tier 2 top. That's where the Radiant takes control of top jungle. I think White Mon should go for a steal, though. Like, let's go, White Mon. He's a gamer. He's moving. Look, he's look, moving. he's got that empty inventory slot. Cat Omi no, also Kat's knows, Omi. though. <laughs> Boy, howdy. Clockwork, what are you doing? Oh, what wait, are you there's doing the flare. Dude, oh, I thought. That was actually pretty well timed. Oh, and the kill snipe. Yeah, yeah almost. Would be nice. TP home time. Out we go. So Aegis for the Timber Sword. No one given even even more emphasis into him playing aggressively. Pure has dodged away from the move down to the twin gate and the TP's bottom. The fisherman kind of walks straight past him in the night time. I think I said earlier he almost says condom. I meant to say phylactery. Sorry, my bad. Oh, and the morph? I was confusing people. Yeah, the flak tree is done. The conda is next, though. Um, and also, it actually isn't that far away now. <laughs> so there you go. He almost has conda. He was on. He's still on. You know, he was on his way. He is on his way. Yeah. He'll be there eventually. We know the destination. It's just the journey that we're unsure about. I feel like Toby has had a very strange brewmaster game. Where, like, I don't think he's been that threatened this whole time. Like, he finally got Blink Stun killed as they, again, take down Fishman. Which is great getting a pick while the other team has Aegis. Slows down their pushes on your objectives. That's cool. Ooh, they're smoking. They want more. They're trying to catch them when they're offset. Another kill. All right, so another support. No one is in. Forces Primal Split, but Katomi just being annihilated here by Toby and Nine Class. Cannot sunder this Timber Saw, but it looks like no one too afraid to continue with his BKB wearing off. So a couple of support kills into tier two pressure. Into Entity a waste of a with... nine second BKB. Yeah. No BKB and Topson's continuing. X mark. Okay. Doesn't want to go for any more spells there. Dragon Tail stun into pure. Oh, Always no one comes through and slices. Now, maybe with the torrent and the boat, they'll try and turn. The Aegis has popped, but they've used the torrent storm. And it's full retreat time, it looks like, for the rest of Tundra to bail away from it. I mean, this is, yeah, a strange game in general, not just for the Brewmaster, but if you're pure there, thinking, yeah, we popped Aegis, and then just get sliced. It was a good return kill to get, but, uh, yeah, I don't know who wins this out now. I, I guess technically it's still better for Entity, because they probably should have lost at least two structures for that, and instead they trade a bunch of damage onto a Tier 2, get some decent kills, all against an Aegis while wasting that BKB. That was pretty solid. But it's good that Envy were able to find something back. Because if they had just like gotten away after those kills and wasted that first BKB charge, I feel like the morale is just dead on Entity. So, very necessary kills. Oh, the blink and Sunder. Let's go, Nine Class. Get that health back. <laughs> <laughs> and no one, he's clipped himself. He's in the hole. Oh, Fishman. The next point of contact. 
Easy kill on the Undying. Tombstone down as well. Free money for Tundra. It's just hand And it reminds me... Reminds me of the, um, the old Terra Blade, Shadow Blade, Dagon build. Armlet, don't forget. You need that too. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. with the armlet as well. Gotta have your HP down nice and low. I think I always saw it as Shadow Blade Dagon because all the players would go and walk into the Roche pit to lose their HP yeah, first. Yeah, like they would buy armlet as a third item. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You just see so a terror blade like trying to what? Like, are you trying to one v one Roche? What are you doing? He, he, he just says, "Wait." <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> oh, blade mail clock. Hell yeah. I've been liking a lot of these Ags Rush builds on Clockwork. But blade mail here against infinite spill damage. Yeah. Like every single entity hero just spilling everywhere. Another smoke around another big item. Well, Watson yeah, speaking BKB. Of, speaking of blade mail, it's going to help a lot. Blink stun. Clockwork. Well, your blade mail has been popped. A bit of damage returned. No one. Half HP, but Watson on the right hand side has figured out where Topson is. I can throw all the torrents you want, but this Lunar BKB is going to clear through you and now maybe chase on towards pure. Toby trying to hold that high ground with nine class to keep them back. Entity not bull rushing in, even though they've got that deep observer ward. They're kind of respecting potential buybacks or that return fight from Tundra. And they've still got the rest of the map to push out. Yeah, they're going to back it up a little bit here. Take their victory. And perhaps a, a Tormentor could also be kind of nice. I mean, Watson's looking at it right now. It's like, can I, can I get an ally here? So yeah, DM's going to come and join him. Do we have any shards? I don't think we do, right? I don't think we have a shard in like this whole game. I oh, saw sorry, Luna Kunkka, had one queued. He was water bending earlier. So we, we had Kunkka shard. Ah, true. Yeah. Katomi's going to get on the Shadow Demon here. So we now have the cleanse available. Excuse me, it's the demonic cleanse. Sorry, Say it properly. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Could have that, though. That skill flavor. It's the lore. He's a demon. Like White you wouldn't dare versus reflections. You wouldn't dare call Slardar skills by their original names. No, sorry. Oh man. It's important that you add the uh you know Slithery the lore word. <laughs> Corrosive haze. His bash was literally called bash, wasn't it? It was sprint sprint crush bash? I think so. And amplified, amplified damage. damage is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> it really was not. Now it's a rune. No, it's a DD rune. <laughs> Blue rune is DD. I do not accept this change. Not my rune. All right, Tempestor, calm down, mate. <laughs> Running around BKB everywhere. BKB for pure here. Oh, look at the Sunder into both. Yeah, Toby's arrival. <laughs> <laughs> clears out the DK. They're going to split for this hookshot move into the Undying as well. Watson Manters running back. He's got BKB ready, as does no one. Has to pop it as well. Castle Omi lurking on the right-hand side. There's nothing to stop this BKB TP. Can't catch no one on the far left. And Castle Omi's going to TP out of the river. So it looks like the rest... Hang on. Of Entity. Hang on. They're running. Okay. They're out of there. Uh, so that was a 1500 HP Sunder that you hit him with before they started that combo. So like this DK is running around like no BKB because I have double Bracer. I'm a Dragonite. I'm going to get my eggs eventually, so I don't need it. But yeah, he just got Sundered for half his life. So that's kind of problematic because uh, you think you're safe from the Kunkka combos and you imagine your team's going to turn it and you're like, wow, these guys are starting to combo with a Dragonite. But this is what you can get when the support TB gets a little bit out of control here. Radiant As he demon zeals his way across the map. We zoom in. Radiant <laughs> scan. There's these people around. Oh <laughs> god, they jumped onto Toby. Guys. Brewmaster. He's got no split, so he's Dude. dead. Katomi's also found nine class. Gets cogged up and killed inside. So Katomi, Toby, nine class dead. Pure looking at this undying now. Starting to shred through with this right click physical damage. Pure opened up big time. Gets the kill and BKB TP's home. He was two three seconds two. From under. Did you see that? That was almost really dangerous. Like, he was so close to sundering that Luna. Watson was in a bit of trouble there. 
Damn it, that entire fight was spooky. Look at the damage from the Morphling. Pure's finally unlocked his potential. What a strange game. Like, thinking that it was going to come out to being a, a bit of an advantage for Enli, but then they can't get off the ground that fast. Tundra goes super aggressive and it works out for a long time, but then Enli end up getting the, the first Roche. And now we're just sort of evened out here in this mid game with pretty even position ones, pretty even mids, pretty even off lane. Actually, it's, we're even all the way down. Everyone's within like a couple hundred gold of each other in their <laughs> roles. That is dead close. The biggest gap, I guess, is just the morphing in the Luna, but other than that, it's, it's not too big across the board. It's kind of surprising. Usually Luna is the one right at the top, a couple of thousand ahead of her counterpart, right? Pure must have... Yeah, he's done so many things right here to, to dodge fights and then join exactly when he can snipe a kill and go back to farming. Yeah, the five kills is definitely helping. He's got five kills, but I don't... Like, that most recent fight was the only fight where I felt he's joined from the start. Otherwise, he's literally farming camps nearby and he's like, oh yeah, there's, a, there's someone I can... I'd adapt a strike one, get the full kill, take down the undying. Sure, why not? And now we're in a situation... He just has a new item flying out. Now it's a Dragon Lance. He finished up his treads a little while ago. On <laughs> the TB. <laughs> Hurricane Pike coming. I wonder why. Like, what? So, what's the reason for the Pike in this game? I think uh, just like because he needs to be in the fight to use reflection, and I think it's your most powerful thing. So it's just about like, I'm blinking, I'm hurricane piking, I want to get off good reflections and good sunders. Because he's clearly shown that when he gets the like that sunder play on the DK and stuff, a lot of it is about his mobility to make sure he's casting these spells, because the cast range is just garbage on both abilities, obviously. So I, I think the idea of the hurricane bike is that I'm just, I'm tankier, I might be able to save some allies. Uh, it, you know, it's got some extra uses. Yeah, I think you can also do some cool stuff where I think the expectation is Luna has Shadow Demon behind him. So if you can, maybe with the, maybe with the four staff before the pike, you can push the Luna away from the SD. So there's no save where you jump the SD and make sure he's maneuvered around. I think it's really good save players, on Luna can be kind of nasty. Like, I think players that are like super just like high skill are the players you more often see thing buy things like Yule's four staff and Dragonlance when other players wouldn't. Because hmm. I think they have the confidence that they're going to make some crazy plays with it. Thompson. He's got back up. Oh, that tremendous amount of damage just from a loosened beam out of Watson. But now with a torrent storm, Toby and Thompson, Watson's dying. Pure comes in and that Luna just disappears. I thought that was Entity getting ready to kill off Thompson, but now nine class has come in and no one annihilated. These are tanky heroes, Trent. Dragon Knight. Like it. I, what? Dude, these Is that sunders. Just Morphling damage? What? <laughs> He just sundered him for 2,000 damage. This sunder is doing everything. Like It's such an easy cleanup at the end of the fight. It just looks so stupid. What? Each of those heroes did like 3,500 damage each. Morphling, TB, Kunker. 2,000 damage from Brewmaster. Luna, DK, Timber. Your three cores who, who are meant to be like invincible right now. Uh, just disappear. Blink of an eye. Team fight lost. Three cores down. You're not buying back. You're losing your barracks. My goodness. Roshan's up as the next port of call here for Tundra. Four minutes until nighttime, so he's going to be down in that bottom right corner for a while. Tundra just uh, playing extremely well in these fights, that's for sure. And that's uh, finally going to get ourselves into the Roshan's banner. We, we've, we actually have not had a banner in any of our this is our sixth series that we're casting unless you got one of that game where <laughs> i had to go and fetch my child this will be the first banner we're seeing i don't think that i think that game ended in like 20 minutes i don't think there was a banner in that game yeah this is the first banner we've had in six series that's kind of crazy so it's yeah. always been dire roche yeah we did a bunch of cheese <laughs> Well, thank goodness that the banner is here uh, to help things out here. And they already have a support TB on their team, so the banner is even more frustrating than usual, I would say, in terms of just, like, keeping the lanes pushed out and everything. What is that? It, it, look at the Brewmaster. To the left of the Brew, do you see a golden circle? No. No. Wepass doesn't. You don't. That's just you. Interesting. I see butterflies. <laughs> I, see, I see the butterflies, yeah. 
to the right yeah. of the butterflies, I see a ring emerging from the ground, and it's kind of <laughs> kind of spooky. No, that's just you, bud. I'm tripping. <laughs> My Dota client's just built different. It's, it's got stuff in it. We need to bring back the old uh, the old darks here. Two hour long games with the, with the shining lights, the, the dancing fires fairies all over the place. Yeah, the fires burning. Uh, if you are entity and you're trying to get back into this game, there are a few things that that could help. Uh, one, the blink on Timber, I think, will be pretty huge because he's struggling. Like no one's having a hard time being in the right spot in these team fights, and that's almost done. I think that's a good item choice here. I'm not sure how he's gonna be able to buy it. I don't know if he's gonna like wait for buyback or if he's just gonna purchase it straight up and then use it to also, you know, just get around the map to try and delay this inevitable Aegis push. But I do think the blink's gonna help out a lot for him, especially when you're defending high ground. You can make some cheeky little plays. Uh, Watson getting towards a butterfly would be fantastic, obviously, versus this uh, Morphling who's just tearing him apart. Uh, but I. One thing that I keep going back to is the Shadow Demon. I feel like the Shadow Demon pick has not helped very much. Like it, it has not wound up being a like a, a Shadow Demon game where you're like, ah, this this is why the heroes picked. You know, like he got some good stacks off at some of the start of the game, but that didn't really accelerate him too much. And the enemy team, the hero picks they went for, this this isn't necessarily where Shadow Demon really shines. You know, like if I think about him getting his eggs and purging multiple heroes, like do I even care? I mean, I guess getting the Morphling's nice, but I don't even know if it matters that much. Yeah, I, I think I'm on the same train as you, where, where Shadow Demon has felt better in response to heroes nowadays against like a life stealer, right? Rather than looking good with heroes. So I, I was looking yeah. at this SD like with it was with a DK, it's with a Luna. He's got great illusions to make. Could be this saving support alongside and a dying looks good in the lane. But if you don't have a you know a primary objective, a, a clear goal in the fight, other than I disrupt Luna. What what else are you doing? <laughs> Very little compared to Clockwork and and uh, TB who are doing everything. Yeah, if you don't have a hero that purges is broken against, it just feels kind of awkward. Yeah, agree. Oh Watson. Oh Watson. He shows on the wave. BKB and Manta ready. Uses Manta. Turns to look at Nine Class. Nearly kills off the TB. But now the torrents and the boats are coming. It looks like Toby is zoning the rest out on the far left-hand side. Watson, the BKB is going to allow it. Oh, no, hang on. Xmark, they missed the hook shot, but Xmark is there. And Thompson allows Pure to get the kill. Toby is still 1v4, zoning the rest of Entity with this primal yeah, and split. the wave's coming in mid right now. Incredibly annoying. They jump and they stun the Storm Panda. Cyclone oh, now he's lands the no one he's, down. He's looking. They're pinging him. They're coming in. Where's, where's the TB? <laughs> no, glass. he's like, I'm so low. This is going to be so sick. Oh, oh he, got he gets him. blown up by no one, though. Oh, he's going to get dragged back in. Thompson. What can we do here with the next mark? And a jump from Toby. DM half HP, but they're still aiming for the no one timber saw inside the cogs. Forced to BKB and run. Fishman trying to stand his ground and fight into this around the tombstone. Pure over the top. Kills the tomb. They got to get Look. this Aegis down. Yeah, he's so... Oh, he's got Satanic, though. Dragon Tail is going to be a little irritating, but... I don't know. Entity can just go straight back up to high ground here. Luna if he dead hits for that Sunder, this, this game, I think, is over. If he had a Sundered somebody there. Because you can see how much of a struggle it was once they actually killed him. And I imagine if one of their... Like, they would have just lost the core straight up. I'm yeah. pretty sure they would have got Sundered into immediate, like, stun from somebody else on the team. That hero was just dead. But speaking oh. of the stun, there's the hook shot in. Hits two. Yeah, and they've got this Kunker to control even further. Kataomi disappears. Pure dives into the back lines. Still has Aegis and Satanic to crit and take down DM. The Scardy slow onto Fishman now as well. Needs no one's assistance to try and bully Pure back, at least for now. Another Santa Barracks here, though, for Tundra, it looks like, in that middle lane. A nine class, yet again, just runs forward, reflects onto Watson. Very irritating for Tundra, uh, for Entity to deal with. Yeah, I don't know how you get back into this. Nine class with a Sunder play in the mid lane. <laughs> He's having some stuff thrown at him, but no one has lost you know, the majority oh. of his age. Oh, he misses the timber chain. Needs the four staff. Follow Sir? through. White mob with a hook shot. Straight back in with this timber saw. They drop the tombstone, but no one's just dying. The timber's falling. Eclipse out of Watson does very little because the primal split just soaks it all up. Fishman gone. Monster kill pure. Counter Omi on the run. And Entity just annihilated. Good game's called. This Luna didn't stand a chance. 
Man, they did not get Watson into many of these fights. It was like after the first fight with the BKB, things just got a lot worse after that. And uh, yeah, we, we got to give a lot of credit there, as you can see, to Nine Glass, because <laughs> the Sunders were pretty ridiculous. He went above and beyond, I would say, of what the support Terrorblade is expecting to do. Like the support Terrorblade in a lot of games where it's been praised has been 